Hi everyone and welcome to our video on how to study for maths lit. So grade 10 to 12, get your notepads ready. I'm going to give you a few tips starting with number one, notes. So when I say notes, I mean go and write down things like your formulas. Formulas for each chapter or section. If your teacher does not give you formulas, go and write your own formulas. Now, example, volume, um, area, conversion, formulas, all of those. Or go and watch my video that I made on percentages. So, like, for example, percentage change and so forth. I give you formulas there. And then I would also say go and write down all the abbreviations in each chapter. For example, VAT is value added tax, UIF. They always ask these and it's quick and easy marks. Then the third thing I would be looking at is go and write down your summaries. Now I know you're like, what? How can I make summaries? But for example, savings versus a check account and tax if you grade 12. Those are theory work that you can summarize and you can write that down and study that. The second thing is focus. Focus on what your teacher tells you in class because they are the ones setting up the test. They focus on something, study it. If you are grade 12 and you go into the final exam, then you have to go and look at past papers. Look at what they focus on and how they ask questions. Right, number three is in general, when you get um, a math lit test, Go and underline your key words. Now you're always going to get a long story in Maslet. So let's look at this example of where we actually go and underline what we see is important. We start with an athlete is running 100k marathon. He starts at 8.15, runs 4 hours and 20 minutes, then stops to drink some water. He continues for another 8 hours 56 minutes before he reaches the finish line. At what time did the athlete finish his race? And then write your answer in hours and minutes. Go and circle the units they require in your answer. The fourth thing here is write for yourself how to steps. In, for example, how to determine the scale given in a floor plan or whatever. If you're not given by your teacher, go and write your own. Or, once again, go and write our own. Go and watch our videos. Sorry. And then, for the fifth thing that I would give you here is go and draw for yourself pictures. Now, in this example, they give you the paint can and they say a paint can of 2 liters can cover 30 square meters. So in this case, I would go and draw the paint can and I would also go and draw a room with that area just to help me understand. And you can do this for a lot of questions. Now, the sixth thing is, this is especially for matrix, take note, go and Google your exam guidelines. And I'm going to show you how to do that. You will go onto Google or Yahoo or whatever, go and type in the search bar, Maths Literacy Examination Guidelines and the year that you are in. Then you'll see that it should be the first option. It says it's a government website and it's a PDF. So you click on that and just download that. Right, so remember to share, like, subscribe and become part of the Whiteboard SA team.